We're going to start by loosening up. So just swing your arms side to side, swing your hips. Just do some free motion here. Get a little dancey with it. Now bring your arms up to shoulder level and start swinging them back and forth with a little more exaggeration here. So trying to clap your hands together even in the back. Now start swinging your arms up and back down with that same exaggeration. Now cross your right arm over your chest and pull it in with your left. And now switch. Now take one arm up overhead and bend it so that your hand is between your shoulder blades. Grab the elbow with the opposite hand and try to pull that elbow to the opposite wall. And now grab the opposite elbow, dropping the other hand between your shoulder blades. Release your arms down and just start shaking your arms out, shrugging your shoulders up and down, rolling your shoulders forward, doing whatever you like here to get movement in your arms and shoulders is what you're looking for right here. I'm going to start with some isolations. So pop your chest forward and arch your back and then do the opposite. So it's a standing cat and cow. And now pop your rib cage from side to side, trying to isolate your upper body and not moving your lower body. Start to move your rib cage in a circular motion, going one way at your own pace and then go the other way. Start rolling your neck from side to side. Again, at your own pace. We're going to be doing a progression to full body swings here. So keep going with just your neck. Now start to include your upper body. So you should be bending further forward and further to the side both ways.
On your next bend forward, bend all the way down, knees bent, and then come back up through center. Go to the other side, bend down, and come back up to center. And keep doing that, getting your shoulders involved, getting looser and looser. Now stretch all the way down to the center and just let yourself hang. You can separate your feet a little further than hip distance apart. You can grab opposite elbows, bend your knees, straighten them. You can swing from side to side with your upper body. You can nod your head yes, you can nod your head no. Anything that just loosens up your muscles. and roll up. I'm gonna face the side here. You can stay where you are. We're gonna just clasp our hands behind our back and roll your shoulders back. Start here. We're gonna gently, very gently, start opening up our shoulders. And now that they're a little warmer, we're gonna bend forward. Again, you can have your knees bent or you can have straight legs, whatever you prefer. Let your arms drop over your head. Just let gravity do the work for you. Bend your knees and roll up slowly so your head is last. We're just going to do some hip movements here. So hips to the right, hips to the left. Bend as much into your hips as you'd like or as little as you'd like. Whatever feels good for you. And now come to center and reach up. You come back down, plie, bend your knees, and reach your arms back up and look up. Come back down, plie, arms up, overhead, and look up. Keep going again at your own pace. Make this nice and fluid. On your next time up from a plie, you're going to come to the side, then come down and go to the other side. Down, stretch to one side, down, and to the other side. Plie one more time, and now this time when you go up, give it a big stretch and pulse here three times. Come up, plie, bend over to the other side, and pulse one, two, three times, and come up. Now round your back and swing your arms forward, and then open your chest and look up, forward, up and back, round forward, up and back. One more time, forward, up, and back. Stretch your arms up overhead one more time, put your hands together, and now come down into a squat. So your heels should be flat on the floor here. Separate your knees as far as you need to to make that happen. 
If that can't happen, that's totally fine. You can lift your hips up as much as they need to be lifted. Start rolling out your wrists. Press the backs of your hands together with your fingertips facing down for a wrist stretch. Clasp your hands together and turn your wrists out. Stretch your arms out long in front of you. Release the clasp and start shaking your hands out. Get motion in your wrists, motion in your fingers. And now we're going to start twisting from side to side with our hips. So this is a hip mobility exercise more than anything. If you have knee issues, be very, very careful with this pose. Come back to center, place your hands together in a prayer position. Press your elbows against the insides of your knees. Look up, get really deep in your squat, and now we get to stretch it out. So hands down, straighten your legs, and hang out here for just a second. Bend your knees and slowly roll up to standing. You should feel great. I hope you do. Have a great day. Thank you for doing this with me.